Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to transfer artwork to your other devices in Abyss Paint. This is a fairly new feature and one that I've only recently started using, but it is so helpful. This feature lets you move drawings that you've done as the entire file, you can even watch it back from a device to another device. So for example, you could move this from a laptop to a tablet or a tablet to a phone or vice versa. It's a really, really good feature because you can go in and edit this on your other devices after you've downloaded it. And you can also watch the playbacks. So for me, it's really good because I can do my artwork on my phone and then edit it and get the speed paint footage from my tablet. So here is how you do it. Firstly, you're going to want to go into your gallery. Firstly, you can go into the settings icon right in the corner here and scroll down until you see about cloud storage. There you're going to want to click on with cloud synchronization and it will take you to this little page about the cloud storage. You do not have much space with this. So you do have to be very careful with what things you decide to keep in your gallery because they will automatically be moved. Once that's turned on, you're going to want to go into your gallery and you will see that it says syncing up here. It will then sync your drawings to whatever other device you have with this paint. It is very important to note that you will only have this feature work if your other device is logged into your same Abyss Paint account. If it isn't, then it won't sync. Once things are fully synced, you will see them in the gallery of the other device. If you were to turn the syncing on with the other device, then you would eventually see drawings from your other device pop into this gallery too. Syncing can take a while, so you should be patient for sure, give it some time, and then it will all sync up. Make sure that both of your devices are connected to the internet too. So as you can see here with the syncing, some drawings have popped up on my device from my phone. I am on my tablet right now, I am not on my phone, so these are things that I drew on my phone. Once you have these, if you want to watch them or just edit them as a file, you're going to want to firstly click on one. I'll go with this one, and you'll see that it's pretty blurry, so you're just going to want to press this little cloud icon here, and it will download them. I did end up using this file instead because I know this one can be imported easily and the other ones were acting up a bit. So I imported this file and as you can see now it is a lot less blurry than the others are when you haven't downloaded them. From here you can watch the whole thing from this device. It'll go into a normal speed paint. Or you can edit it up here. It'll take a second to load everything in because it has to duplicate all the layers and everything and the effects. But once it's in, you can look at the layers and it'll be just the exact same layers from your other device. Everything will be exactly the same. And so from here, you can edit or continue your drawing however you want to. For example, if you wanted to do line art on a different device or if you wanted to do a sketch on a specific device because you find it easier to work with that device, you could do that. Or if you leave one device at home and you have your other one, then you can just sync them up and you can continue your drawing wherever you are. It is a really good feature and I've been using it a lot lately, especially with speed paints, since I highly prefer drawing on my phone instead of my tablet. From here, you can just treat it like a normal drawing. It will act like a normal drawing. Everything will be just exactly the same. Then when you are back in your gallery to turn off the cloud storage, you're going to want to go back into the first gallery, go back into your settings and click the cloud synchronization again. It will bring up this warning and some drawings can be moved if you turn this off unless they have been downloaded. Click yes and then your synchronization will be off. This does get rid of any drawings that you did not download as you can see right there. And that is how to transfer your artwork to other devices. I hope that you found this helpful, and if you did, maybe consider supporting. Bye!